ranking the best recurring characters on Seinfeld, one of TV's greatest sitcoms. The Fab Four, Seinfeld, George, Elaine, and Kramer, were hilarious, but the supporting cast also shone. Check out who made the list in this fan-favorite show that continues to dominate reruns. Ruthie Cohen, the beloved cashier at Monk's Coffee Shop in Seinfeld, had a remarkable presence on the show. Although she had limited lines, she appeared in 101 episodes, making her a memorable part of the cast. And let's not forget, she would never have accepted George's doodle $20 bill. Check out more unbelievably wild antics by musicians on stage. Helen Seinfeld, Jerry's mom, may not be as crazy as George's parents, but she definitely has her moments. She wakes up early, loves a warm thermostat, and is a great mom to Jerry and even Kramer, as long as she's far away in Florida and not causing trouble in expensive hotel rooms. Don't miss out on more exclusive entertainment content by following us on MSN. Legendary actor Lloyd Bridges portrayed the humorous character Izzy Mandelbaum, a past his prime strong man and friend of Jerry's parents in Florida. As the owner of the Magic Pan Crepe restaurant, Mandelbaum enjoyed mocking Jerry for his lack of strength, despite being older. He amusingly attempted to train Jerry, declaring, it's go time. Check out more entertaining TV siblings. Russell Dalrymple, played by Bob Balaban, was the NBC president infatuated with Elaine. He quit his job to join Greenpeace, hoping to impress her. He made Jerry possible and loves pasta primavera, as long as it's not sneezed upon. Follow us on MSN for more exclusive entertainment content. Richard Fancy, known for his role as Mr. Lippman on the TV show Seinfeld, has passed away. Mr. Lippman was Elaine's boss at Pendant Publishing and had George as an employee. Fancy's portrayal of Lippman, who loved cigars, the Yankees, and even had a brief romantic interest in Elaine, won him praise. In later years, Lippman ran his own bakery called Top of the Muffin to You, which only sold muffin tops. In this article, we learn about Mr. Kruger, the bumbling boss at Kruger Industrial Smoothing. He is known for his incompetence, particularly after botching the Statue of Liberty job. Played by the late Daniel Von Bargen, Kruger celebrates Festivus with the Costanzas and supports skin cancer prevention. Interestingly, he also helps his family discard George's clothes into the ocean long before they actually meet. To enjoy more exclusive entertainment content, follow us on MSN. Actor Richard Hurd, known for his role as Mr. Wilhelm on Seinfeld, has sadly passed away at the age of 87. Wilhelm, George's boss on the show, was portrayed as slightly more competent than George himself. In one memorable storyline, Wilhelm was tricked by a cult pretending to be a carpet cleaning company, much to George's frustration. The character also left the New York Yankees to become the head scout for the Mets, causing further turmoil for George. Our condolences go out to Richard Hurd's family and fans. Lloyd Braun, played by Peter Kelligan and Matt McCoy, was a handsome character from George's neighborhood. He fell for Elaine and suggested New Yorkers were name tags, but it didn't go well for him. Working for Mayor Dinkins, he had a breakdown after losing the election. Later, he was spotted selling computers for George's dad and even brought Jerry gum from China. Stay tuned on MSN for more exclusive entertainment updates. Today, we have an interesting story about a character from the beloved TV show Seinfeld. Bob Sacamano, a quirky and mysterious friend of Kramer, was never actually shown on camera. However, he had quite the adventurous life. He worked at a condom factory, sold knockoff Russian hats, and even had a mishap during a hernia operation. Bob's father, Bob Sacamano Sr., had his own interesting venture, selling low-quality electronic organizers in Florida. Stay tuned for more fascinating stories like this. Breaking news, in a surprising turn of events, it appears that George Costanza's fiancé, Susan Ross, was not actually the love of his life. Shockingly, George's penchant for thriftiness led to a tragic outcome as his decision to use toxic wedding invitation envelopes resulted in Susan's untimely demise. Stay tuned to MSN for more exclusive entertainment content. 
Famous sitcom character Sue Ellen Mishki, aka the Braless Wonder, was loved by Jerry and despised by Elaine. Heiress to the O. Henry. Candy Bar Empire, she convinced the gang to attend her wedding in India. Though rare, her appearances were always unforgettable. Check out 20 Unknown Facts About The Mummy. Morty Seinfeld, Jerry's dad, played by Barney Martin, was hilarious when teaming up with Kramer. From failed raincoat and electronic organizer schemes to condo politics in Florida, his humor never disappointed. Check out our exclusive entertainment content on MSN. Larry David, co-creator of Seinfeld, voiced George Steinbrenner in the show. Despite never seeing his face, Steinbrenner was known for liking Calzones, Pat Benatar, and George Costanza's shenanigans. He always managed to steal the scene, even without being fully present. In the world of Seinfeld, Mr. Pitt was an eccentric boss who took obsessive-compulsive behavior to another level. From eating Snickers with cutlery to his constant struggle to find the perfect white socks, he was a character like no other. And let's not forget about the infamous Mullen Springs disaster. Stay tuned on MSN for more exclusive entertainment news. Jackie Childs, a colorful lawyer played by Phil Morris, was known for his shady tactics and humorous moments. While he had success, he couldn't prevent Jerry and his friends from ending up in jail. He handled cases involving coffee burns and tobacco-related skin problems, keeping audiences entertained. Check out the top roles of Robert Duvall too. In today's entertainment news, we have a fascinating story about a man called Crazy Joe Davila. This guy takes eccentricity to a whole new level. Davila, a frustrated aspiring entertainer, had a bone to pick with the world. He had a peculiar habit of dressing up as a melancholic clown from the opera Pagliacci. But wait, it gets weirder. Davila developed an unhealthy obsession with Elaine, one of Jerry's friends. Things took a bizarre turn when Elaine defended herself by using Binaka to spray him in the eyes. Talk about an unconventional way to handle a stalker. To stay updated on the latest entertainment news, head over to our MSN page for exclusive content. Jerry Seinfeld's friend and fellow comedian, Kenny Bania, is making headlines. Known for his hack jokes, Bania's obsession with Ovaltine and dining at Mendy's has captured attention. Despite his annoying nature, Bania's harmless and even looks sharp in a new suit. Stay tuned for more on this comedic character. In today's news, we take a closer look at Uncle Leo, a character from Jerry's dysfunctional family. Played by the late Len Lesser, Uncle Leo was always ready to play the anti-Semitism card and brag about his son, Jeffrey. However, Leo often found himself in trouble, whether it was opening a dangerous package or being accused of shoplifting. And let's not forget his love for watches. To stay updated on more exclusive entertainment content, follow us on MSN. Mickey Abbott, a friend of Kramer's, was notorious for his short temper and failed marriages. He dreamt of being an actor but faced criticism for lifting. Despite occasional confrontations with Kramer, they delivered great comedy. Mickey's father, portrayed by Robert Wagner, didn't like Jerry. Check out these highly anticipated albums that turned out to be commercial failures. Estelle Costanza, George's mom from the famous series, was a scene stealer. Annoying and always pestering George, she never laughed. Though good at mahjong, her meatloaf was mushy and salmon croquettes were oily. And that doll on the shelf? It bore an uncanny resemblance to her. Follow MSN for exclusive entertainment content. Actor John O'Hurley played the eccentric J. Peterman on the popular sitcom, leading to hilarious moments with Elaine. He portrayed the high-end character with a great voice for radio. Despite his dark side and madness, we still enjoyed his storytelling. Tim Watley, played by Brian Cranston, became famous as the witty dentist on Seinfeld. He had a crush on Elaine and kept adult magazines in his waiting room. Check out MSN for more exclusive entertainment updates. David Putty, the beloved character from the hit TV show Seinfeld, is remembered for his love of high fives, Arby's, and the New Jersey Devils. 
Played by Patrick Warburton, Putty was known for his laid-back and sympathetic yet passionate and peculiar personality. From his iconic fur coat to his eight-ball jacket, Putty certainly had a unique sense of style. In addition, this article explores the solo careers of 24 artists from famous bands that unfortunately flopped. The iconic TV character Frank Costanza, played by the late Jerry Stiller, gave us the hilarious Festivus holiday. As George's eccentric father, Stiller's portrayal was unforgettable. Discover more about Frank's complex character and surprising culinary skills. Stay tuned for exclusive entertainment content on MSN. Newman, the lovable yet bumbling male carrier from the hit sitcom Seinfeld, stole the show with his comedic antics. From his dubious connections to the notorious serial killer, Son of Sam, to his hilarious rivalry with Jerry, Newman left a lasting impression. Played by Wayne Knight, this portly character became a fan favorite, entangled in various comedic escapades. Whether it was the Michigan bottle deposit scam or the infamous, second spitter, incident, Newman's presence elevated the show's comedic value. If you enjoyed this glimpse into Seinfeld's iconic characters, make sure to follow us on MSN for more exclusive entertainment content.